Welcome to the stream. Today we're going to play some Lords of the... Nah, just kidding. It's a really good game, though. <laughs> got patched actually lords of the fallen um it, uh, it it got a enemy density patch which i'm very curious about because it, apparently they modified the area that i'm in now desert your voice audio is super crisper and clearer than usual i haven't done anything to it that's weird like magic did you do something or my phone speaker somehow different does it you sound peter do i sound taller maybe greener yeah i, I i've done absolutely nothing to my audio nothing at all nothing at all Could be your phone's bitrate. Is it set to auto? Hey, Mosh. Maybe you set it to some kind of high quality mode. Maybe you set it to source. I love Moon's OST. You're watching in 480p and not the usual 160p. Oh, yeah, that would really do it, Allie. <laughs> you wait, you couldn't tell? If there's one game out there I wish I could replay completely blind again, it would definitely be Moon. 
It would absolutely be Moon, hands down. Yeah, remember them? The little fellas, yeah. That new game that, um, Yoshiro Kimura is working on looks really fucking good. We saw it during the last direct. Only in the Japanese one, though. You want to get Moon at some point? I highly, highly recommend it. It's probably one of my favorite games of all time. I would say if I could give a game... I don't think there's anything... I've. It's, it's really hard for me to give a game a 10 out of 10. Moon is like a 9 point... Like nine out of ten. I, I can't really tell you what holds it back. So I might as well just make it a ten out of ten. Yeah, Moon's a fucking ten out of ten. But it's probably one of my favorite games, like ever really, really struck me. The OST is so fucking good. That's what we're listening to right now. You just, like, get songs in that game that you can put on a Walkman, and then you just walk around and listen to everything. It's so good. Some of the puzzles can be a bit obtuse, but it's such a good game. I was able to solve every puzzle in that game without a guide. Without a guide, and without spoilers from chat. No one had ever, like, really played through the game before. We were all doing it, like, pretty much blind. It was so fun. It was so fun, and I'll never fucking... I'll never fucking be able to do that again. That's why I wish I could play a blind. Yeah, that was an awesome playthrough. Easily my favorite. Hey, Darson, how you doing? Hey, Blue Tongue. All right. Well, this game, it isn't a 10 out of 10, but I'd give this, and I, and I say this not and I say this in, a, in the most kindest way possible, because apparently this is a this is something that people take as like bad. I give this game a seven out of ten so far. People see seven out of ten these days and they go, "Oh, that's bad." No, it's not bad. It's actually good. It's just it's not. <sighs> yeah, it, it's still a really really solid game. It's just. There's something about it that holds it back. I made a second character for off-stream. I'm a bit ahead with that character. So we're going back to Malky Marvin. There are aspects of this game I really, really like. But most of the time, I feel like this game... <sighs> something about it is just off. It's not perfect, but it's good, and I could recommend it. Anyways, um, let's see. I need to rest at this place because I'm currently in the Umbral for some reason. Oh, Shadow Gamer, thank you very much for the 23 mo 32 actually, thank you, thank you. That's a very long time. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, let's see. I need to check something really quick because there's some stuff I missed last time I was playing this. 
then it kind of like just skipped past without really thinking about it. And one of them was a chest up here. I did not go up here. Yeah, this boy is thick as hell. Sanctify. Okay, cool. So I didn't get that. I think that's a spell. Bless the ground with a holy sigil, which heals and cleanses the status effects of any allies who walk upon it. Radiance 18, though. I'm currently trying to level this character's vitality, and I'm going to keep pumping it, I think, until it hits 30. Just because, from playing off stream, I've learned that bosses in this game hit like fucking trucks. Um you will get comboed in sometimes really weird random ways that don't often feel extremely good. <laughs> and it's just good to have a little life insurance. It's kind of like a tug of war in this game with your health because you constantly are also like rallying it back too. How many uh, seeds do I have? Oh, okay, I do have a baby seed. Okay. These things are useful. Okay, so I got that. Um, did I talk to you and upgrade Our my Sanguinix? Sanguinarix. I was told that I might be able to have at least five of these by this point, but I haven't been able to find these saintly quintessences. Let Arius's will be done. Does it wears patches? I don't know. I was wondering if this game did have a patches. This game seems to want to like reference Dark Souls a lot. Lovingly, in a loving way. I guess we're at the bell room. So I'm wondering if there is a patches analog in this. We're actually right before a boss right now. Like I'm like just about to fight one. But before I do that, I need to um, do a little side quest so I can get weapon upgrades. Which is thankfully right here. Dar. So let's see. I haven't noticed any changes yet in enemy uh, placement. Oh, I just noticed a change in enemy placement. <laughs> I think there's normally three dogs down here. I'm only seeing two. Damn sentinels. Damn sentinels. Oh! Oh no, there were three dogs. Ah, oh, fuck. Get that key. Where is that key? There it is. Prison cell damn key. Sentinels and say damn base. Man, bastards. Insult to Gerlinda's Areas skin. in this game are pretty confusing. I agree. Um, there are... There's a lot of weird alternate paths that loop around and uh, make shortcuts to random places that feel really weird. key. Like, really strange loopbacks to, like, early areas that have no sense. Mm -hmm. No one gets the better of Gerlinda for long. Finally. Or sometimes just the make dead ends. a slave of Gerlinda. Ha! You made a slave of me. 
You don't count. So yeah, the map design isn't something I'm like ultimately a huge fan of in this game. Doing an old growl a kindness. Aren't you a credit to your species? <laughs> Especially don't like Pilgrim's Perch. <laughs> Whoever designed that area needs to stop yesterday. Oh wait, hold on. What's going on with my lamb? The lamb? Damn sentinels. Damn sentinels. Oh yeah, this shit. Defiance ring. Got my first ring. What the fuck was that sound? Re increased resistance to all status effects. Increases maximum stamina and stamina regeneration rate. Oh, fuck. When the hell did I get this? Whatever. Aw, oh, the door closed. Oh, there was an entrance, an emergence from the umbral here. That's why the lamp was freaking out. So what you all been up to, chat? Damn sentinels. Had a two hour tutorial. Damn, two hours. What was it? You've been playing Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk, like, came around, dude. People are now, like, really praising that game. Originally, people were bashing the shit out of it. After Starfield came out, everyone was suddenly, like, Yes, actually, you know what? Cyberpunk wasn't that bad. <laughs> Anyone else notice that? And I don't even think, like, Starfield's bad. I just noticed that suddenly, like, everyone was, like, so, coming around and saying, like, Cyberpunk. We'll and suddenly it was like, you know, actually, lies. Church. I think Crusades. we didn't appreciate it enough. Sentiments. Corrupt hypocrites. Butchers and madmen, a lot of them. Adia, the one true god stands on the verge of finally returning and restoring all. It was still pretty terrible at launch, but yeah, it's been patched up pretty well now. Yeah, it's cool. Defy it's cool to see a game like that turn around. Fucking heretics. Name's Damrose. And I'm wondering if Adia fucking might have heretics. a for you. I think Starfield's a good game. I just don't feel feel like it's a very good. Uh, it, it's not the kind of Bethesda game I wanted, which is why I didn't continue it. It takes strength. The setting to didn't grab me. In this world and Mornstead's no different. Adir's got no time I, uh, for the weak. I, I like the I'm Elder Scrolls setting. I, I'm. Cut them down. And take what they've got for it yourself. It does so much for me and my immersion. Starfield felt like it could have been really cool if it, like, had more alien elements to it. I was hoping it for to be, like, more like a, uh, like a Star Trek kind of universe. With different, like, I don't know, alien species that you could also maybe be as a, as a player. Everything being human was just kind of boring. I mean, I did find some really interesting quests in that game on my own. I do think there are really fun parts of it. 
The story is well written. Just, I don't know. I like my space fantasies to be a little bit more high fantasy. Because I'm a weirdo. That's how could you hurt those poor dogs? They were demon dogs, Darson. They were not very good boys. Also, I've learned in this game, there are not many strength weapons. Everything is like half agility based. Look at this sword. Okay, 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 first of all, what is going on with this sword's stats? Strength C, agility E, S requirements strength 9, agility 11. Why are they reversed? Shouldn't it be the other way around? Why would you need more agility for a weapon that scales better in strength? You also got that hammer. Yeah, this is the one weapon I'm really looking forward to using. I'm just saying. Strength 19 for this one. Oh, that's a, that's a strength sword. Thorn Crimson Rector Sword. Okay, I have a rector sword. I, I, I have... <laughs> what the fuck is a rector sword? It sounds dirty. It sounds like rectum. Do you have anything to say about the fucking sick ass kill I just did? Do you have strength weapons? No, you have agility weapons. This requires Inferno. I'm not leveling Inferno. I don't know what I'm going to be leveling on this character for damage. But Vitality comes first. Nah, this is too close to another fucking thing. You switch to fists in this game? <gasps> Wait, are fists viable in this? You can respect, but it's like Elden Ring. It's limited items, though. It's a lot more limited in this. Huh. Sweet, I got two levels that time. Okay, so yeah, Vitality to 30, and then I need to think about what I want my damage stats to be. Probably going to start pumping strength first things first. Can you do fist and magic like Desi's character in Elden Ring? I think so. Map of Forsken Fen. For Forsaken Fen! Oh, apologies for the dour mood you found me in when last we met, but uh, I've perked up since then. Found myself a new purpose. Uh, at least something to keep me occupied while in Mornstead. I'm going to be a traveling merchant. There you went to the Please. Forbidden Fen. <laughs> Hopefully you'll see something of interest. Some might use the word oh, hey, scavenger. Fizzle. True. But Ow. that sounds somewhat judgmental, don't you think? 
I'm just putting to use that which has been discarded. You could even say that there's a sort of nobility in it. Well, perhaps just a little. Hello again, friend. Hello again. Um, does this guy sell anything I need right now? Oh, he sells the starting gear for the other classes. That's right. Ooh, you sell rocks. I need to remember that you sell rocks. May your path be blessed. Do I have things I can give you? No. Holy shit, I have 18 of these? Oh well. Probably won't be a boss fight for a while. Uh Jack shit for damage against you. This boss took me a while off stream. You kind of have to fight this boss like a monster hunter boss. Fucking rolling. They're so weird. Their moveset is so weird. boss doesn't really have a whole lot of surprises other than, like, poison. They just start farting uncontrollably around half health. What was that sound? What's with the screaming? Ah! Oh good, I'm poisoned. Oh, I'm for penguin kind. Thank you very much for the 54 months, dude. I'm trying to do the Muscle Monkey Madness quest in Rise, but it's much... Unreal process has crashed. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Send and close. Okay. Game too strong. Game too strong. Wow, that, that never happened before. I'm trying to do the Muscle Monkey Madness quest and rise, but it's much harder than the world's version. I just want pectorals half as big as yours. <laughs> that quest is hard as hell. Um, wait, is that the one with the two Rajangs and then there's one that's like super like pissed off all the time on at the top of the mountain? But it's like optional. 
two furious Rajongs, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Double furious Rajong. Yeah, that quest is hard as hell. Oh, it's in the arena! Oh, what am I thinking of? No, you're thinking of the Street Fighter one. Good. It's because I, I disconnected as soon as I died. Yeah, I could go upgrade my weapon um, for pretty cheap. But I don't think it's going to make a huge difference against this boss. That is really funny to crash as soon as I died. Chat, I'm using the claw grip. I'm fighting unlocked with the claw grip. I'm gaming, Chad. I'm gaming. Gaming. Spanking that monster's ass. Parasite. Oh, I got it. Okay. He has an umbral parasite that causes poison. If you leave it alone, it like builds up a lot over time. Shit. Bloodborne boss. <laughs> Get that meatball. I want that meatball. Oh. Hard boss, pretty easy. So was that two tries? That boss took me a while off stream. I'm surprised I'm getting these bosses down so quick. It's like, I guess once you know how to fight them, they're not that bad. The next boss coming up though is one I really didn't like. I did not care for the upcoming boss. <laughs> it 
and insist upon itself. I mean, I beat it, but I, 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 uh, it wasn't my favorite at all. Babbitt said the boss was cool, though. What the hell is that? Oh, that's online play stuff. Onwards you march, eh? I hope it's not for any kind of glory, because you won't find a sniff of that in Mornstead. And certainly I hope it's not in the name of the hallowed sentinels, because take my word for it, they're no better than the Rogar. I've got many a scar to prove it. Hold on. For a cutscene, boss was fairly simple. It's like a combo of Vord and Curse Rod of Greatwood. Hug the legs and watch the ass slams. Yeah, pretty much. It's just a big monster fight. 25. Five more levels, and then I can stop leveling that. I wanted to be at 30. 30 seems to Whether be a good number. Whether you embrace Umbral or struggle against it is none of my concern. Power is a sweet temptation, and the lamp will grant you that, sure enough. But don't confuse that with loyalty. Still, I'll not deny. I owe Umbral for giving me what it did. So the vestiges will be minded as long as I'm able. Name's Byron, by the way. Byron. I'll be around. I'll be around. Always am. Always am. Poison resistance bomb. Okay, where can I go from here? Yeah, it's Byron from Final Fantasy 16. Does not open from this side. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, oh. Gotcha. It's over here. Get cheesed. Shit, zombies. Man, the water effects in this look great. That actually looks like like gross ass swamp water. This is a really pretty game. A shame I have to play it on medium. Otherwise, it crashes. Ow! Ow! The hell was that scream? It crashed on medium, too. Yeah, it did. That's true. That crash was though. I'm glad it has a tool where they send crash reports to the devs, and the devs, the devs have been really, really good about like crash reports. Miyazaki would like to let you know the swamp is a highly defective part. It's not poisonous. I, for one, welcome the non-poison swamps. You're right, though. Miyazaki would make this swamp totally poisonous. Did you happen to see the trailer dropped about an hour ago for Aqua Teen Season 12? No, I did not. I did not see that trailer. 
Was it good? I know they've been talking about it. I didn't know if it was ready yet. Ow. I think there's another spot to teleport if I hug the wall. Hello. What is this shit? What's in here? Curse worm ring. Exemplar. I like how the game gives you feedback for when you do a dodge correctly. That's something I don't see other Soulsborns ever doing. There's a lot of really good ideas in this game. Again, I don't know... I, I need more time with it. But I really do feel like this is a solid 7 out of 10. If not, like, very close to an 8. You! How about some help? The sorcerer I was traveling with said the trinket I wore was actually some kind of ancient magical accessory. Said it would toughen my skin against harm if I let him reinvigorate it with his sorcery. <laughs> As you can see, he did that sure enough. Stupid bastard. But he was a stupid bastard with coin. And the mercenaries got to make a living. Okay. Wilmot wanted protection for a journey to Mondstadt. He thought there was powerful magic here for the finding. But the coward ran off when some creatures appeared soon after I started petrifying. They couldn't pick my head. But hopefully they hunted him down and made a latrine out of peace. So, Jeez. looks like my blade's for hire again. When I could swing it. How can you talk if you're petrified? Get this damn thing off me, and I'll be in your debt. And who doesn't appreciate having a favor in the pocket? How do I get that off? If, what, what do you- what? Get this damn thing off me, and I'll be in your- And who doesn't appreciate How? having a favor in the pocket? How? How do I get that off of you? How do I get the ring off? <laughs> Get this damn thing off me, and I'll be in your debt. And who doesn't appreciate having a... <gasps> what? what? Oh, shit! I didn't think it was doing anything! Oh! Kokujin's sword, huh? Okay, well, I guess that's how the... Kokujin crumbles? You got the ring off her. At least. I got a catalyst. Well, that just happened. Uh, uh okay, but, uh, all right, bye. <laughs> bye. And so we add another NPC to the list of accidental kills. I had no idea that the kicks would have done that. I, I, how was I supposed to know? They weren't, nothing was like, <laughs> nothing was reacting to it. <laughs> Honestly, I would have hit her with a sword too, I, right? Let me warp to Skyrest now, because I can upgrade my weapons. Desert, why do you hate weed smokers? What are you talking about? Oh, because she was stoned. Very funny. Ah, you again. Gelinda found herself a place to do a little business. 
She hasn't seen any other Grohwok since arriving in this shithole kingdom. But, Grohwok or human, sturdy armor and lethal weapons are a universal language. It doesn't do anything to her. Now I'm just gonna kick everything. Speaking of business, Gelinde has something you might be able to help with. She's looking for some items. This vining bag of bones left in Mornstead a long time ago. Galinda is undeserving of what she seeks, Traveler. And self-centered besides. You would do well not to aid her in. You know full well the agony Galinda can inflict on you as long as you wear those manacles, Sparky. My name is not... Silence! Sparky! <laughs> Annoying as he is, Sparky does possess certain very rare knowledge which he refuses to share. But he carves this knowledge in crystal. And now Gerlinda wants those crystal tablets Yeah, Babbitt, but I am getting into this more now that things are more familiar. So, Have fun at the gym. If you find any in your travels, bring them to Gerlinda and she'll do right by you. As I would not to Galinda, I will not reveal the locations of the tablets to you, Traveler. Even upon pain of death. I... Oh. Oh. Upgrade. Upgrade. Oh, I need more materials for that. Oh, and I need more, uh rocks I need new rocks for that I haven't gotten those yet but now it's at a plus two yay Man, my health bar is getting big it's good it's a good thing Let's go back to the fen. Oh wait, no. Oh, I wanted my seedling. Not this. No, not rest. Warp the vestige. Seedling. There we go. Okay, I'm back, right? Yeah? You hear me? Good now, okay. Um, so yeah, I loaded into the area and then OBS like crashed. I've never seen that happen before, that was weird. Huh. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Man, I get a lot of technical problems when I stream PC games. Ooh. Ow! You've been targeted for the Crimson Ritual. Oh shit, right! I just got invaded. Here we go. Wait, what? Damn! 
I have no idea where this person is, but I'm like totally surrounded by enemies right now. Oh, there they are. That's them. Invaders can heal? Okay. Yeah, there's online play for this. This game is crossplay. That invader has a PC screen next to their game, next to their name. Yeah, this game is crossplay. So you can play with console people if you want. Which is pretty neat. It's pretty rare you see crossplay in games like this. I don't think even Elden Ring is crossplay. Souls like with crossplay. Yep. Pretty crazy. Like I said, there are good aspects of this game. It, like it, it's a good game overall. Noticing any less enemy density. <laughs> I don't know what they meant by that. They did say it was in the areas that I'm in. Yeah, Elden Ring's multiplayer is definitely an afterthought. I mean, as it always is in From Soft titles. Hopefully. In the future, they start to try and maybe look into ways to better implement multiplayer into their game. I, 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 I it just, in Elden Ring especially, it felt tacked on because there was really no reason to PvP at all in the game besides just wanting to. There was no, like, covenants. So there was no goals to achieve there, other than just wanting to PvP, which is fine. But I wish there was a little bit more purpose behind it. Oh boy, a tentacle puzzle. So where's this big fucking hunk of dookie go? Snaking all the way around here. Okay, dokie. Oh, there you are. Hello. Yoink. Ew. Scorn. You know what was really weird about Elden Ring that isn't explained in the lore whatsoever that I really, really, really hope the DLC addresses? Is that there are, like, player ghosts. How are there other tarnished? What is that? How is that explained? Is there a time travel thing going on? I think there's time travel bullshit happening or something. 
but Miyazaki ain't talking. But yeah, like the Grace Ghosts or whatever. But how are there all these other Tarnished running around in their own player worlds? Usually in Dark Souls, it's explained by time and space being convoluted. Where does this tentacle go? There's one more. And it goes back there? How am I supposed to get that? Yeah, wait, they're all the way over there. How do I open this umbral gate? Unless I'm not supposed to. Oh, I'm supposed to go up here, right? Maybe? No. Wait, hold on. This tentacle got removed. Let's me go over here. Okay. That's what it was. I'm gonna get chased by ghosts. If you stay in the umbral too long, you start to get chased by things. Very bad things that make you uh, have a bad time. The Shadow of the Erd Tree announcement might give some clues to the player ghost. That's what I thought too, with all the gravestones, like representing all the t different tarnish that Mikola has probably called. That's definitely a possibility. You know what? I want to try something really quick. Settings. Um. Graphics. Medium. Motion blur off. Chromatic aberration on. Is there anything I might be able to turn down? I'm gonna try low. Your FPS is set to unlimited. Okay, I was like wondering, is there something going on impacting my performance right now? Because my computer is acting weird. 60 FPS. Apply changes. Desert, where are the titties? Right here. <laughs> Did the stream just get a bit delayed after that? Did it? Oh my god, I'm really about to get attacked in the Umbral. Uh, fuck. I need to get the fuck out of here.
That was close. What the fuck was that? That was exactly what I was trying to avoid. Scarlet Reaper, yup. They appear and make your life hell. If you're in the Umbral too long. Anyways, here's that boss I did not care for. Oh, I did not like this one. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, God damn it! did ads just start playing? Oh, because the stream... Whatever. Oh, it's my second least favorite boss. Pause. I can't, it's a Soulsborn. <laughs> it's a guy in a horse. This fight is so bad. This fight is so bad. And they gave him truckloads of HP, which is even better. Is that Gyobu Masataka Aniwa? <laughs> My name! Is Gyobu Masataka Aniwa? As I breathe! Oh shit. Whoa, whoa. Uh, oh right. So anyways, now that it, he's on this horse for the rest of this fucking fight, I have to do this. To knock him off the horse. Oh, never mind. He's on the horse. He's off the horse. Oh, Stray Cat. I give it the 28 months. Thank you. Just saying hi. I'm at an event, but this looks fun as fuck. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you enjoy your event, dude. Whoa. Thank you very much for that. That 28 months. That's really nice of you. I hope you're doing well. Did they really give him a pumpkin head for Halloween? Holy shit, they did! Oh my god, they did! I didn't even notice that! Yo! That wasn't even in the cutscene. You have to hit those down and knock him off the horse so he stops fucking around. God damn, you have so much health. Now he does this. Oh, what? This boss is so weird. heavies against him pretty easily. It is a pumpkin head. Yeah, it is.
Whoa. Oh, AOE. No. I don't have any life stones. Ow. Good first run. Yeah, he has so much health. You needed life stones for this one. I didn't need life stones when I did it, but um Yeah, it is it is a lot. Okay, let's go again. Apparently, if you perfect parry him, he gets knocked off his horse, too. Okay, here we go. So we wait and there it is. He gets knocked off the horse. don't like this boss for the horse phase, mostly. It's just an annoying fucking long, dragged out part of the fight. It's a gimmick that's not really that fun. And a little bit, it's kind of Phantom Ganity. Whoa. Halfway. He's almost got frost status on me. Oh! You son of a bitch! Come 
boss Jesus that boss took me hours off stream oh my god oh hey Brooks how goes the falling of the Lords good other than the fact that the game crashes sometimes and it crashed OBS once that was weird other than that yeah it's been great Killing lots of bosses, getting things done. Look at all these souls. You were in dental surgery, so you missed the start of the stream. Oh, well, I hope that went well. He's the coolest fuck boss, though. Hey, aesthetically, he's cool, but gimmick-wise, it takes forever to fight. In death, may you continue to shine as the radiant paragon you are in life. And may your dedication to our cause be remembered ever. Does this game also run your CPU to the fucking moon? This game only takes up 70% of my GPU for some reason. Uh, let me see. Uh, no, it's using like 40% of my GPU, uh, about 20% of my CPU, but I have a really, really powerful CPU. I'm also running this on low right now with DLSS on. At 60 FPS. There's an optional umbral boss in the swamp you can do, but that's something for later too. I need you to get a list of saintly quintesses later so you don't fall behind on healing like I did. Well, right now I only have four. Has anyone been able to run the settings on high? I, I can't. It crashes for me if I run it on high. This is based on Irish folklore. It's frankly a bit of a shame that you don't get any of the beautiful Ireland landscapes. Like, everywhere is just a necrotic swamp. Oh, uh, there are some places that are, uh, pretty in this game, I think. But yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a dark fantasy. I thought it was more like Norse. It's Irish? You're at the end of the game, you only have six healing. Dolahans and Kelpies are Irish folklore, yeah. If that's what that guy was. Quintessences are only found in the Umbral on corpse pods that have a glowing radiant halo on them. Just a tip to help you know what to look for. Okay. 
Um, are there any quintessences in the swamp right now? They're only found in the umbral on corpse pods. Huh. Well, that's probably why I'm not finding them. I didn't even know about that. I intended to see if the ones who inhabit this swamp might be potential customers, but uh, they seem quite focused on heads, including the removal of them. So, I thought it best to keep my distance in case they took a liking to mine. <sighs> not that many ever have with this face, huh? It's an odd light that burns in your lamp, friend. Of course, in the darkest moments, the only light you ever really need is the light of Aureus. He watches over his followers. He just does so in curious ways sometimes, that's all. What do you got again, for sale? Friend. Small delirium fragment. Uh, May your path be blessed. I have a lot. I have a lot, lot. Of, uh, Vigor. That's a new UI element with an exclamation point. Yeah, they've been upgrading this game a lot. I haven't even been able to keep track of all the changes that they're doing. Finally! Vitality 30. Okay. Now I can start upgrading strength. Whew. So... What you guys are telling me is that there are heal upgrades to find in the umbral. Are they in like obvious locations or are they like really hidden away? Hey Desert, that boss, it took me eight hours because my vitality was at 15. I think Vitality might be the best stat in this game. It seems to get you through a lot of bullshit. They're typically on the beaten path of areas. Vitality always is the best stat. At 15 Vitality, that boss can basically one or two shot you. Yeah, I was reading that it was like two shotting people, or like one shotting people actually. How do I get in there? That's one way to enter the umbral. Holy shit. Okay. That was like one of the guys from Half-Life 2. That's a fucking mimic. You like Dark Souls? This game's got goddamn mimics. Item mimics. Shit. Oh, whoa. Wait, where are all my Oh, I didn't rest, did I? Man, I always forget to rest. Oh, thank you, Anon. That's very nice of you. I appreciate that. Thank you for all those gift subs. That's really kind. 
Goat man with the steel chair, by God. Here we go. Kick. What else is around here? What other fun things can we find? I have no idea when the next boss is. Actually, wait. No, there is one more boss that I think I know of coming up, but it's kind of an optional pointless boss. All it does is unlock a shortcut to a previous area. That, like, serves no purpose whatsoever. Okay, I'm lost. Oh, boy. Stop farting! Ow! Every shortcut has its purpose. No, this one really doesn't. I, I, like, tried to figure out its purpose for a while, and was just like, why the fuck does this exist? It exists for a very specific reason, but it makes sense once you've gotten further in the game. Okay. So you know which boss I'm talking about? Yeah. It's the, uh, it's that, like, night dude with, like, the halo. Percy, I think. Right. Yeah, they're coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Eat there. The original version of this game had no large vestiges, and you had to use vestiges as your only respawn areas. Wait, seriously? That sounds like anus. How similar is this to the original game? Their original vision is New Game Plus 3. Huh. We're not talking about the 2014 version, I think. Oh, well, I was. I'm, I'm wondering, like, how similar it is to 2014. Is it a completely different game? It's not similar at all. I'm gonna suck the bug. I'm gonna suck the bug. Like the Ouija's mansion. Suck the bug. They're so different. I don't know why they kept the name. So it's like someone, whoever directed this game must really be attached to this name. It must mean like a lot to them or something. Because the trademark was specifically for Lords of the Fallen. 
and they didn't have to pay for renewal fees. Huh. Is that actually why? Brilliant. Anyways, here's a boss. Hello, Ed boy. I fucking hate this guy. things, don't you? He summons shadow clones, it's super annoying. Shit, that's right, now you heal. Except now you're not healing. Parasite anywhere near here? He's healing too much. Damn it. Doesn't kick him. Oh wow. You can knock his buff off? I beat his ass to stop the healing. Uh yeah, you have to suck the umbral parasites in order to stop the healing. It knocks his buff away. GG. He had no poise left. Oh yeah, I could have finished him. I keep forgetting to do that. Got the bloodlust. Increases resistance to smite. Increases resistance to all status effects. A ring bearing a crude description of curse worm. Increases strength and agility attributes. All right. How much? Ooh, by a lot. Or well, I think by one. Ooh, I have different masks. Ooh, I can wear the big cone head? Yes! This is better armor. It weighs more, though. How do I see my weight limit? Where is the weight stuff? Encumbrance? And I want it to be... Currently, it's at medium. What was it at before? Medium. This is like slightly better armor. <laughs> I look like a dork now. 
Did you get that hat from that boss? Uh, no. Well, wait, no. Where did I get this hat? I don't know where I got this hat. I just had it. So that's, this unlocks this shortcut, and I have no idea why. This is a previous area that is like... I just, I have no clue why this shortcut exists. It's such a random place for me. It makes sense in New Game Plus Plus. Well, at least I got some nuggets. Yeah, so this is a super early area. Each new game removes more and more vestiges until there are only two. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Vestiges. Vestiges. Vegetables. Eventually you're doing the world's largest corpse run. Huh. The shadows are freaking out. Yeah, it's because I set it to low. Would you say this game is worth getting? If you've already beaten Lies of P, yeah. I'm just going to be straight up fucking brutally honest about that. <laughs> I, I really like this game. Lies of P is the better game for me. But I would say if you're done with that, this is definitely a game worth getting. Um, I want to say yes. <laughs> the <clears throat> Was that a fucking instant kill? Oh no, I had low health, never mind. The plus icon looks like an angry vein on your VTuber. It's a P-Tuber, but yes, it does. Uh, hey. So the game crashed again. This is the game that does not want to be streamed. No, sir. I have never had a game crash OBS before, not even, and, and much less twice in the same stream. I have no idea what's going on here. It's not running my computer hot. Um, I have no idea. That's really fucking weird. OBS really hates this game, or vice versa. I have no idea, because I'm not using 100% of my GPU, I'm not using 100% of my CPU. Did you install the latest update? For this game? Yeah, I did. And I've installed the latest updates for my GPU, and I have the latest Windows updates. So I don't know. I don't know why this game is freaking out right now. All I do know is that I have three VODs now to clip together. Ah, more work for me. It seems to be on when areas load in this game. That it like flips out like OBS or something. I don't know. I, I've noticed it. It's when I've teleported to a vestige or rested a vestige three times. No idea. No idea at all. I have a lot of big or skulls. Maybe I should go and teleport really quick if I can. Shame it's been happening. Yeah, I don't know why uh, lately whenever I stream PC games It's like things go 
weird. No idea why. Let's see, let's use... Or sell ah, my Vigor Skulls. You again. <laughs> and sell that. Okay. Upgrade equipment. Oh, I have strength 20 now. So I can use this. Attack power 136, attack power 186. What if I upgraded this? Attack power 158. Hmm. Plus three. Okay, this is now at 201. Verse 209. This sword is weaker. It has rune slots. Uh, if you try creating a new scene in OBS, maybe something is weird with the current one. Um, OBS isn't saying anything's weird. But it could be that I'm running too many things. Uh, I don't know. I do have a lot of things going on. Let's see. I could upgrade. This just seems to be the better weapon for now. Two thirty four, two fifty nine, insufficient materials. Okay, kind of regret upgrading this then. I thought this would be a lot more uh, stronger, but now this is attack power two fifty nine. I basically doubled this thing's attack power, or two thirty four rather. You crashed a bunch in a specific area. I think a certain weather effect was bugging the game out somehow. Yeah, I have no idea. All I know is that it's happening on loading in certain areas. It could happen right now. Didn't happen that time. Let's hope it stays that way. There's a heavy load. Fitzroy's Gorge. This was an area that they said they changed. Oh yeah, that does so much more damage now. 288? One, two, three. Holy salts. Whoa, what? Rudy's! Got another invasion. I wonder if I even live to see him. Get down here. This fire crossbow snake guy is an absolute jerk. Yeah, he is. Oh! Oh. Must be explosion day. Welcome to the Twink Build Gauntlet. Invaders invade a ton in these next two areas because there's a ton of enemies. Oh, 
Oh shit. Wow. I don't even know what to do about half that. I don't think I've ever even seen spells like that. He's using the same umbral build everyone uses. <laughs> That's awesome. Can't wait to go through this area. Meta build time. I think I'm about to get invaded again. Don't you basically need to parry in this game's PvP? I have no idea. I'm not experienced in it. This, this, this crossbow dude needs to just fuck off. I'm done. Is this a game or an interactive movie? It's a Soulsborn. Oh shit. Oh, you got a bug. Fuck. Fuck! Jesus, what's up with this enemy type? Fuck off. Ring of Radiant Preminence. A ring stained with the blood of its former weather casts radiant sorceries with non radiant catalysts. I don't really have any radiant sorceries. Oh my fucking god. Doing. Got some Brio stones at least. Okay, this is a mimic. That's a mimic. Because its tail is wiggly, right? Yep. I ain't fall for that shit. Fuck that. Fitzroy's sword. What kind of weapon is that? I almost can use, um, the faithful bludgeon. It's another strength agility weapon. Agility 19? What the f- Damn. That's- a steep cost. Uh, hello. It almost fucking killed me. Agility is dex? Yeah, pretty much. You could say that, I believe. It is the second damage that... Okay, what is this one? Gimme. 
small derailium fragment. Whoa, whoa. Damn! Goodbye! Those ass guys seem nuts. They hit really fucking hard. Okay, there's an umbral parasite down this way. Uh... Where am I headed? There's an asshole over here. Bye-bye. Revenge. Okay. Oh man, these bug ladies have a lot of health. That was sweet! Not doing bad! Not doing bad at all! Oh! The game just crashed! What? Bro! What the fuck? I didn't even get a crash log that time. Game. This game is cursed, dude. It doesn't do this shit when I'm not streaming it, I swear to God. What in the world? Where did it dump me? This game just does not want to be streamed. Yeah, this might be the last stream of this game I do. I I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was told it uses a lot of resources. It does, but I have it set to low, so it's not. I have no idea what that crash was about. On launch, it had memory leaks. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right, I'm I'm back at the cave where I was. Oh, didn't get a drop attack. Crashes aside, how do you feel about this souls like? It's a seven out of ten souls like. It, it's 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 good. It, it's not amazing. It's not the souls like that's probably gonna blow your dick off like Elden Ring would. But it's a very competent game. It's very fun. 